Hello my soccer universe, let's end this international break videos with a little bit of a talk about this World Cup qualifying. I will focus exclusively here on South American qualifying because the qualifiers had not only some great results but also uh, the pretty big clash between Brazil and Argentina. And also because I have not really followed much what was happening in Asia and Africa where the qualifying campaign got now underway. However, in South America, it was made for Uruguay, who really, really got uh, great results. A total of 5-0, beating the eternal rivals Argentina in Argentina, and then rounding out with a 3-0 win over Bolivia. So Uruguay actually making up a lot loads of ground. They're now sitting in second behind Argentina, who then went on to beat the other big rival, Brazil. So a uh, really interesting series of matches and I think Uruguay have not beaten Brazil and they have beaten Argentina. So watch out for Uruguay. Uh, they are coached by none other than Marcelo Bielsa. I think this is a really, really interesting uh, pathway <laughs> looking forward because this will probably not the staunch rough and tough Uruguay that we are used to. So those were basically the big results. The other one is, of course, that Brazil have now lost three games in a row. It's the first time since 2001 when they actually qualified by the skin of their teeth and then went on to win this tournament. And I could very well see something happening like this as well. The team that comes out of South America up top doesn't necessarily need to be a top favorite to win the World Cup. You just have to make it through. And with six qualifying slots and a seventh in the playoff, I think in Brazil can afford a little bit of weakness. However, of course, if you're Brazil, you really don't want to see your team losing that many games in a row. And also you don't want to lose them, see them lose for the first time at home at the Maracanã to your eternal rival. And that game also put some negative attention towards Brazil because after the anthems were played and I'm actually glad that I decided to not watch it. I could have watched it here in Austria. They showed it in Austria on television, but with a 1.30 midnight kickoff, it's already really, really tough. And I said, nah, it's not possible. And then the kickoff got delayed by another half hour because there was no separation of fans and suddenly there were fights among the fans and the military police car comes in and beats mostly up on Argentinian fans. Which, yeah, I hear that the military police in Brazil, Brazilians are used to that, but those are scenes you don't want to see. And then the Argentinian player going, going over, kind of, you know, worried because their families were also, also seeing it. it was not pretty. There were rather nervy scenes. In the end, the match then got on, uh, underway, but this was really then conditioned by what happened in the sense. It was such a fighting match, not a great match at all. Uh, fouls, 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 there probably should, should, should have been a red card given, it was not. Gets decided in the second half by an Otamendi header. And I guess the play of the game was Rodrigo de Paul and no one else in there, not even Messi, who got taken off. So yeah, uh, rough times for our Brazil. Is Carlo Ancelotti now really coming or not? I know there's a verbal agreement, but nothing written yet, so that might be. And you know, if Real Madrid don't find a coach, it might be that Ancelotti will stay for at least another year because, you know, he's quite comfortable in Madrid himself, although I think it would be fun and great to see him as a Brazilian national team coach. I also hear that Scaloni uh, might get a little bit tired and there might be a change as well. So at the moment, I think watch out for Uruguay. But we also shouldn't forget the great Colombia story uh, where Luis Diaz, you know, with kidnapping and, and so on, he's, he turns the game around against Brazil right there in his hometown, I think it was uh, in his home country in Barranquilla. So Colombia also looking quite good. Uh, another country that is doing good, although they only got two draws, is Venezuela. Venezuela that never has been at the World Cup, still their chance of qualifying not all that great, but hey, Venezuela are ahead of Brazil at the moment. But I also have to mention Peru. Peru is horrific. I think this was now the time. They had some really tough opponents. I mean, they had to play Argentina. They had, had, had to play Brazil, I think. And now they had two beatable opponents and they get a paltry point out of that losing in Bolivia 2-0. And when you're losing to, to Bolivia, it's usually a sign that things are not so great. And then a 1-1 against Venezuela where they cannot hold on to a lead. So Peru's chances, unfortunately, are rather, rather slim. For qualifying. Uh, interesting enough, the qualifiers for South America take now an extended break. They come back in September. 
So have that, that in mind. There are a whole lot of open slots. Does this mean preparation for Copa America? Are they really going to join the Nations League? Let's see all about that to be answered. The next time we talk about World Cup qualifiers, I hope I can also put a glimpse for Asia and Africa in there because we don't want to forget to get about these. But so far the action has been in South America and South America only. Any case, please let me know what you thought, how thought about qualifying games in South America. Did you watch the Argentina-Brazil game? I would like to hear your opinion on it. Um, I have to say, when I just look at goal average, it's well below two. Uh, it doesn't speak high of South America. Uh, and qualifiers at the moment it's not much fun uh, although there's probably a lot of tension there in any case give me a thumbs up enjoyed this video i'll talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye